What's the range uh, that you're firing from there? 16 meters into a group of people? How many uh, people did she just people. liquefy? So uh, the ring in increments is 10 meters, so that will be um, medium range. Uh, so... <sighs> I think I'll, Colleen I'll was throwing a hallucination grenade. No one calls Shelby out on the inferno pistol. <laughs> Nobody, no, nobody, nobody, nobody in the mob manages to dodge it. Roll your 2d10 plus 4. <laughs> Somebody's gonna die. Oh, God! Oh, so, well, you have to remember to um, separate your d10s. Because now we don't know if you got Righteous Fury. And I'm not gonna have you re-roll that because I don't freaking want you to get Righteous Fury. Um... And so, uh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> uh, you could have just shot it into the air. We now have a lot of noble... And, 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 yeah, kill us all. Thank you, Brooke. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I think miss the air. If <laughs> she shoots it straight up, she'll hit the ceiling. If she hits the ceiling, the top deck it leads to void. Okay, fair enough. I forgot about that point. <laughs> Either so, way, she's not following the captain's directions. Well, she just melted someone. So uh, th their body ignites in flames as a portion of their torso just sort of disintegrates. And their flaming corpse falls into the group of people. Um... <laughs> the screams of terror and fear and panic um, well uh, this group of uh, nobles is uh, disbanded as they scatter about some of them flailing from the fire that spread from the person igniting next to them um they're making quite the hubla, but uh, the other nobles in the area are not yet panicked because they're they, they've been through a lot today already. So they'll they're they're just kind of wondering what possibly could be going on now. And the people doing the right of awe, however, can't hear shit. So um, they will not visibly see the person ignite either because they're all focused on dealing with the uh, tech priest and so Shelby just murdered someone who she has absolutely no idea who it is for no tangible benefit. Insane but they the burn up brain. so pretty like Uh, Shelby, you have dated, right? Yeah, because if you didn't, I'd be asking for a willpower roll right now. So help me. Yeah, I know you've seen warp stuff. That doesn't excuse you from murdering innocents. That kind of shit's supposed to weigh heavily on someone's conscience, assuming they have a conscience. <laughs> this is 40k. What did you expect? I didn't expect to be plugged into a fucking ship. That's what I expect, didn't expect. <laughs> Don't worry. Vern is coming to help. Hey, look at it this way. If your mind can somehow survive it, maybe you'll be able to rebuild the ship as a transformer. <laughs> <sighs> oh my goodness. Shelby is, uh... She let the warp in. Um, anyway. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that caused a bit of a stir, uh, just not where Shelby was hoping for that stir to take place. Haley, what are you doing? Uh, be stealthy. And I go this way. Uh, uh, Shel I... uh, Haley, do you have jaded? Yeah. You do? Okay. Uh, basically, because I really need to go to the bathroom, my path is just going to look like this. Uh, basically, just 
circling around to get to the Circle front. around the far? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to go away for a few minutes. Be okay, back soon. enjoy. I'll <laughs> talk to you. Um, uh, Vern, Shelby, Kiri, are you guys just still advancing? Uh, Vern is beelining towards the old priest. It's... Is it 50 meters out from where he is? I'm just trying to figure out if I can get closer without being destroyed by the loud screechy noise. Okay, um, let me draw an icon of where a loud screechy noise is coming to and from. 30 is the maximum range, fuck. Um... All right. Well, well I guess I know the... Fern is in it, right? Just a sec. Uh, that's about 20. So, is it not appearing when I do that? No, I see it. Oh, it's erasing. That's why. Okay. So, there we go. You know what? But just Anybody imagine. Can... imagine um, from here, it extends right to the wall rather than curves around. So I, there's no the way wall. I can get closer without going in it. So I yeah. might as well just go forward. Yeah. And right. as you enter it, you will have to make your toughness test. That's six. Well, I might as well just go to the 24 and move back if I have to. And Chelsea, you may be mute, but you will still have to make the toughness test because you are not deaf. God All right. Fucking damn it. So, uh, Kiri, you are at um, negative 10 while in the uh, area. And Shelby, with her fate point, will succeed. Can I make a pers- an awareness check to see what's going on in the front of the room now that I'm a little bit closer? Absolutely. I would make it if I wasn't at a penalty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll Francis. keep moving forward. And not and, give a fuck because he's hurt. Yeah, and so all of you, uh, your move silence and your concealments for all three of you. I'm not going to try to move silently. They're distracted. But I... Okay. No, we're going to move silently first. Vern, you amaze me with your move silent bowls. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm going to fail my conceal. Because that'll be how this will go. I called it. Did I not call it? Even though I don't know why you'd have to move silently in a large, loud screech. On the plus side, Kiri, the crowds are more interested in A, the burning noble corpse uh, and the panicked dispersing crowd and the tech priest getting uh, cable raped uh, that they aren't paying attention to you. Uh, Shelby, people uh, don't... Basically, they don't think you did it. They think Vern did it. (laughs) So uh, they see the armored man just marching forward, and they're like, why did he shoot that poor woman? That glory hawking bastard. Yep. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the uh, mob that has Creoso doesn't notice any three of you. They are still pretty much wholly focused on uh, Creos. And actually, there is one more roll I want you to make. Uh-huh. Um, Fungi. Ah. I'm giving you ownership of. Uh, a cleric that has a smaller beard. He's to the left and down a bit. I see him. Yes, uh, please move him um, 12 meters to the right. He too will die. I 
guy's gonna die. And he raises his hands basically towards Vern as Vern starts to approach. Arnie Badger doesn't give a fuck. Uh, well, let's just see what Vern's reaction to this gentleman is first. The cleric? Yeah. He's, uh, he's just standing there with his hands held up. Yeah, basically, the I'm not armed, but uh, please come speak to me first before you go any further kind of thing. I don't, I don't give a two cents about him. I just keep walking, you know, here. Okay, uh, as you move to move past him, he will make an attempt to uh, stop you. So, uh, this is not going to be too difficult for you, but give me a d100 roll. Uh, um, despite your high roll, you could still essentially just sort of push him aside because he's not a very strong man. Okay. I will. Okay. Um, and give me a perception roll. He shouts, trying to uh, let you hear him over the sound of Creos's scream. Uh, please, no, you have to let them finish their work. Oh, shit, we do. Can I finish my movement? Yep. You can ignore him as much as you want to ignore him. Basically, I get here, I have my shotgun, and I say, let him go. Okay, so before you can do anything else, Shelby and Kiri get to move, and uh, I'll try to move Haley, even though I don't think she's going to get a chance to... Uh, really get involved at this point. Do I get accosted by said cleric? Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll, I, uh, yeah, Kiri, you'd be the next one. He'd try to uh, appeal to you as well, asking you to stop Vern from preventing them to complete their task. Um, she's not going to do anything at this point. She's not even going to say a word to him. But she's still moving or not? That's my maximum move. Okay. Well, I mean, like, like she'll she's just going to continue walking when her next turn comes? Correct. Okay. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. One of us will get through no problem. And so um, the man who Vern came up to and demanded that uh, Krios be released will turn and uh, look Vern up and down. And I'm going to do a willpower roll first. Okay, and then... A number of nobles break off from the other group and as the uh, elder makes a command for them to come and attack you, Vern. Okay. So uh, they aren't quite on top of you yet, so you have the option to burst fire the noble in that last moment or turn your attention to the nobles who are about to uh, dogpile you. I'm I'm going to shoot the fucking elder noble. Okay, so point blank range is plus thirty. Uh, what mode of fire are you using? Uh, what are they called? I can't remember. Semi-auto. Yes. So a uh, plus ten for the semi-auto, and every two degrees of success to um, a maximum of. 60, I think. So 